How you doing? Uh, making a tutorial real quick on how to make your own uh, resin models. Uh, you can use sec this technique to do anything from your own models, uh, body parts, chest pieces, uh, shoulder pads, uh, power weapons, uh, backpacks, jump packs, uh, anything you can use it, you know, use your imagination. Stuff that you will need uh, to get you uh, started would be uh, this, uh, the mold uh, making material, which is called uh, Umu 25 I'm using here. They have one that it's 30. Uh, this one, uh, the mold it would come out softer. It's a soft uh, silicone. Uh, also, you would need uh, some clay. Clay uh, you use this to uh, base the model when you're doing uh, a half and half. Uh, mold sculpting tools uh, you will need a uh, four right angled um, wood panels as to make your mold box when you're making a two half mold uh, you will need rubber bands latex gloves uh, clamps uh, rubber bands uh, or tacks uh, you will all see this later on when I'm moving on throughout the video. You will need uh, your release agent, uh, your model, uh, some nuts so you can do the registration keys. Uh, you would need uh, mixing cups, uh, mixing sticks, brushes to uh, apply the uh, release agent. And you will need your liquid plastic or resin. I'm using here SmoothCast 3000. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, you'll see all the materials later on in the video. Okay, we're going to move up to the basing uh, technique. How to make uh, the base for a two half mold. You would need your clay. Here I'm prepping uh, the clay base. Uh, so only one half of the clay model. Uh, uh, the clay model. The model comes out when you do your first half of the silicone base. Here uh, you would want to have a flat smooth surface, uh, cut all four sides, uh, removing all the excess clay. Make sure your lines are nice and straight. So when you do your mold box, there's no mess. Here you will play uh, your model or whatever you're using. And the four registration keys at each corner you would also put there. And that's basically it. Uh, when you do place the model there, I just use that stick figure for reference. Uh, you would want to put it close to a base, or you could uh, funnel like a, a, a piece of straw, a piece of hard plastic, where you would pour the resin into the model if you want to do it more sensitive. If it has a big wide cap, remember half and half, no gaps in between. Uh, make sure you uh, spray your resin, um, uh, your release agent on the clay and on the model. Okay, here I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, the two half mold technique or how it ends up looking. You use that for very uh, flat figures uh, where you could get away with it. Sometimes you get figures that are too wide and they have those funny angles that you, 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 would, you have to use another technique, which I'm demonstrating here a bit. But you would use, instead of a cup, a paper cup, you would dip your character just like that while the silicone is in there. Again, putting the release agent on it, and um, I'm using that, so you could you, ha you would want to have some type of frame so it doesn't go all the way in. You know, stick it, blue tack, crazy glue it, uh, and that's how you do that technique. Here uh, I'm showing a picture of uh, the frame completed. Uh, it was very quick, you can pause the video. It's basically the clay bed with the half character. Uh, and the frame setup. The frame setup is the four angles clamped down, very nice and tight. This right here, you're looking at uh, already I put the silicone uh, liquid in it. The Umu 25 dries like in 74 minutes and it'll be cured of the pending humidity. Just follow the instructions. And uh, also, uh, the blue tech, you use it, uh, I think I showed it right here. Yeah, also right there, you put it on all four sides to prevent uh, from any, you know, leakage of, you know,
not having a mess. Uh, let's see what else. Um, uh, the nuts, yeah, I, 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 I forgot to put it in this mold. But uh, yeah, you would have to put it at each four corner, depending too. Uh, if it's a very small mold, maybe you could get away with it. Uh, actually, my mold came out good, but sometimes I guess with bigger molds, you would use that. And uh, there you go. Again, the four clamps, nice and tight. Hope you have a get a good angle at this. I edited this video. Also, it's my first editing job, so bear with me. All right, guys. Here I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to do the liquid uh, uh, plastic or resin. Um, right here, you see I have a, a two-sided mold ready, rubber band, nice and tight. Make sure you align it right with the registration keys. If you have that one, that mold did have, in that it was a large and the first one that I did. Um, so you have your your hole nice and done where you uh, would pour the the resin in. Uh, follow the directions of the product. Always wear your latex gloves. Uh, once you have the product out, one to one ratio out, uh, you could leave it set there. It, it, nothing would happen to it. But once you mix it, you have little time because this this one right here dries up. It, it cures like in 15 minutes. So once you're ready, make sure everything's set up because there's no going back after this. Uh, you're putting your vent hole and after that, it's basically waiting 15 minutes to see uh, when it's done. So just follow the directions and um, and always, you know, be safe. Safety, they have safety there, guides, and follow those, and you'll you'll be good. Remember, it's just having fun, making your stuff up. Here, I'm going uh, to show you guys um, a little bit of the the curing process. This is a couple of minutes after I finish pouring it. Once again, once you mix it together, you can't let it sit on the cup because you you lose it. You lose the product and it'll be away. So once you mix it, make sure you're ready for that. And as you can see here, it's already drying up. Uh, it goes from a clear to a white, uh, hard plastic. It captures all the details, you know, whoever's interested in this, use it. I, I think you'll like your, the end product of your work. Uh, let's see, uh, bear with me. I, I had to take out the whole audio of this being that I had to re-edit it and busher it. So I'm just seeing what's coming up next. Uh, oh, yeah. Here, uh, I'll show uh, you after it. the resin has dried up. You remove the rubber bands, it's very short. Uh, you remove the rubber bands when you're done. Uh, carefully, my one broke, I guess, there. No biggie. Once the plastic is hard, that you can't do nothing to it either way. Just so you, you don't want to be careful with the mold itself because, you know, you don't want to destroy it. Again, you could use it again and again. It's not a one-time thing. Uh, here you see I'm doing it one-handed, very awful. Not good. Need to buy a mini tripod soon. All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, part one of it. I'll post uh, part two soon. Take care.